Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Kushbu, and in this video, we are going to see the question minimum absolute difference in a BST. Given the root of binary search tree, return the minimum absolute difference between the values of any two different nodes in the tree. So here is an example given to us and in this the minimum difference between any two nodes can be determined by having a difference of 2 and 1 which is 1 or between 2 and 3 which is again 1. So the output is 1. Here is the example number 2 and here also if you see the minimum difference between the nodes is between 48 and 49 which is 1 or you can say within 0 and 1 which is 1. The constraint given to us are that the number of nodes in the tree can range from 2 to 10 raised to 4 and the values of the node can be from 0 to 10 raised to 5. So let's go ahead and deep dive on how we can solve this particular question. So let's take a sample tree with us and we will try to find a solution for this tree. Now since we are told that this is a BST, it means that the value of left node is going to be lesser than the value of root which is going to be lesser than the value in right. So we are going to have these conditions satisfied for each node. Secondly, when we say that it is a binary search tree, we know that the in order of the BST will produce a sorted data. So if you write the in order for this particular tree, you would find the elements in the order as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. And the minimum difference can be the difference of the two nearest nodes in this sorted data. No nodes which are far away from each other can have the minimum difference. So we are going to take advantage of this property of BST and try to solve this question. So what is the in order? As we talked about in order is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Now that we have this, let's try to see how to find the in order first and then we will try to incorporate our code to find the minimum difference in that in order traversal that we are doing. So for the in order traversal. It is simple. First we need to traverse to the left. Then we are going to process the root and then again we are going to traverse to the right. So this left and right traversals are going to be recursive and this is somewhere we are going to do the actual processing of the current node or the current root that we have. What is the processing that we are doing? In the processing part, we will be calculating or we will be setting the minimum difference that we have found until that particular point. So what will be the difference? Difference will be having the previous node into account and will also have the current node value into account. And it will be the difference between the two values. And so the answer or the minimum difference will be the absolute difference between the previous and the current node value. With this, what we'll do is we'll update the previous for our next iteration. This is about the looping that we'll be doing. But when we have a recursive solution, we also need to have a exit condition. So what can be the exit condition over here? Over here, we can check whether the node is null or not. If the node is null, we cannot do anything, but we need to return the minimum difference. So that's all about the algorithm that we are having for this solution. Now let's try to dry run this with the example. So let's take the solution over here and we have this tree. We'll start with the root node. So let's take this handy with us that we are going to first process the left tree. Then we are going to process the root which is the root node 4. Then we are going to process the right tree for this root. So we are going to go from top to bottom. So the first part is to process the left. Now this is not a single node. This is a tree over here. So it will again call a recursion. So for the recursion it will go and it will make this as a root node. And for that it will try to process left and right. So again for an order we will have process the left for this to process the root node to and then process the right of this. 
now since this left is again not the single node it is a tree so we'll again jump into it and we'll go inside that now we have gone to this node assuming that this is our node so for this our left is null so we'll process null node process root and right is also null so over here we are going to end now what happens over here is we go to this null node trying to process this null node and since this is the exit condition that if the node is null we need to return the minimum difference in the start since we are minimizing the result we initially need to store a maximum value in the answer so the minimum difference over here in the initial point will be max and now the previous node is still null since that is not going to make any sense while processing so now this node is done next we are going to process this node so we are going to go to the one node and we'll process this for this we just have this calculate min difference and update previous thing so what will be the min difference for this since my previous was null earlier so i don't have to calculate the minimum difference now i can skip that but my current node will become my previous node for the next iteration and that's with processing node 1 next is to process its right which is null node now for again this one we are going to say that this is the null node so we need to exit we need to return the minimum difference which is still max so till here also our min difference remain the same our previous remain the same because the node is null there is no use in setting the previous to this node so that's about processing the null node now we need to process root node 2 so we'll go over here we'll see we have a previous which was 1 so my min difference will become minimum of the previous value which was max or this 2 minus 1 which is 1 so my min difference over here become 1 and my previous over here will become 2 and with this i can say that the processing for root 2 or the node 2 is done now what we have is we need to process the right tree so we'll go to this right node over here and for this we have left root right which is null 3 null and now we'll start processing these things so we'll go to the null value first and over here since it is null i am having a exit condition of returning min difference and since it's null i won't update the previous so i'll return one from here that's done next is to process the root which is this so this will become minimum of 1 and my previous was 2 so it will become absolute difference of 2 minus 3 or 3 minus 2 which is 1 again so minimum of this is 1 and now my previous node will become 3 so we have updated 3 over here now moving next is so that's done now moving next we'll move to the right over here for the right node is null so it is an exit condition and we return the minimum difference and do not change the previous value so that's done now everything in the left is complete so we'll move on to process this root value which is 4 so we move to this root we see my previous was 3 my current value is 4 so my minimum difference will be minimum of 1 or 4 minus 3 which is again going to be 1 and my previous node value will become this current node value which is 4 with this i am also done with this root now i am going to process the right for this so let's see what is there in right in right we have this node as a root and its left and right are null so let's go ahead and process all the values in the right so we'll go to this null which is this node and since it's null we'll return the minimum difference and not update the previous previous still remains 4 and that's done and then we'll go to the root now this root is having a value of 6 my previous was 4 the minimum difference will become minimum of 
1 or this absolute difference of 4 and 6 which is 2. So the minimum still remains 1 and my previous gets updated to 6. So that's done. Now I'll move to the right node for this which is again null. So I'm going to have the exit condition and return minimum difference. So with this, this is complete and my entire tree is now processed. And so what I am doing is I am just going to return this minimum difference that I have found until now, which is nothing but one. So this is the recursive way of solving this question. Now, in order traversal can be done in an iterative way as well. So that's a homework for you guys. You can watch out our video on how we do a iterative pre-order and order and post-order traversal to learn how we can iteratively solve this question. The steps will remain the same while we are processing the root node or the current node. We are going to calculate the minimum difference and update the previous. That's all. Only the way in which we are traversing through the tree is going to change for iterative and recursive. Now that we have seen the dry run and the algorithm. Now. Let's first take a few variables. So I'll have a global variable for a difference that is a minimum difference and my previous node value. And here since I want to give null, I'm taking a integer rather than int. Over here, this is going to be my recursive function. So for this, I'll first write my exit condition, which is if my root is null, simply return the minimum difference. Otherwise, traverse left, which is calling this function on left. Then we are going to process root. And finally, we are going to again call this function on right. In processing the root, we are first calculating the minimum difference. So if my previous is not equal to null, then only I am going to find the minimum difference, which will be minimum of the previous value in this variable and the value from current calculation, which is the current root minus previous. Now we are also going to update the previous. So if my root is not null, then I'm going to update my previous with my current value. So previous becomes root dot val. After this is done, after everything is done, even write processing is done, we just return the minimum difference. And that's it. Let's try to run this. And this is giving us a perfect result. Let's submit this. And it got submitted. The time complexity over here is O of n, where n is the number of nodes that are present into the tree. And the space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree, because we are going to need a recursion stack space for h levels. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do not forget to click that like button. Also, share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you are already not subscribed so that you get a notification of all the new videos we post. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.